to be sitting across the table from a doctor who's talking about giving you the most beautiful and perfect vagina like to my parents who are sitting behind me by the way which is obviously perfect hi everyone my name is ella and i'm a 18 year old woman of transgender experience and this video is all about things that i kind of wish i knew beforehand before i you know kind of dove in head first into the whole process of transitioning you know, just to start this off i'm gonna let you know transitioning is not easy no matter like what you hear in the media and all these like fancy headlines they make for your attention like you don't take a pill and you wake up with like you know bobs and regime the next day like that's not what it is you don't just like go into the operating theater and get a surgery and then boom your life is perfect it's not that it's a really really long process and it's a really really difficult process and it's a process that a lot of people cannot handle you have to be like mentally physically emotionally socially prepared to kind of deal with everything that you're gonna go through while you're in the process of transitioning so <laughs> <coughs> COVID. Uh, anyways, so the thing is, the first thing you need to do is like, you need to be sure that you're like, you know, right in the head and everything's fine. And so you go to a therapist and it's nice you sit down and they ask you like, oh, okay, you have to tell me how you feel, how are you, you know, feels share your feelings and all that stuff. And I went to a therapist the first time when I was about 14, 15. I got a diagnosis then and the therapist was like, you know what, you are right. I feel confident in giving you a diagnosis for this. However, like, thodi si or, you know, you should take counseling and kind of just to be sure. But what happened then is like, they give you a certificate and that certificate says like, okay, this person has gender dysphoria which most trans people have and that's what causes you you know all these problems and you have to take the certificate everywhere if you want to take hormones you show it to your endocrinologist and they say okay you you're someone who obviously needs this treatment we'll do it for you you take it to your surgeon and they're like okay you're obviously someone that medically needs this surgery so we're gonna do it for you at this point i'm like 14 15 so obviously i'm not doing any of those things i think you should wait till you're a little bit more mature and you can make a sound decision in india you're supposed to legally wait till 18 anyway so that's what me and my family did fast forward to like helicopter, helicopter. three four years after i turned 18 like the second i turned 18 my family and i we just look at each other and like yeah let's go and so we go to the surgeon and we show him the certificate that i have and we we're like okay do and then he's like do what and i'm like do this and then he's like uh actually no this diagnosis was given to you very very long ago and it was given to you when you were an adolescent you're now an adult and you need to get a diagnosis again perfect fine it was easy the first time it's gonna be easy this time all i have to do is like walk into the therapist's office again and do the whole thing all over again that's where i was wrong you know second time around it's doing the same thing going to the same therapist same doctor same place same office everything and i'm telling him everything and i'm, and I'm like oh whatever like we already know like we've been new you know you don't need to like even ask me all this just like give me the diagnosis already so i can just get out of here you know in the end you know when you're kind of done you're kind of just like <laughs> and he's kind of like <laughs> and i'm like okay this is like kind of wrapping up and he's gonna be like okay go and then he's like okay now could you just stand here and uh, take your trousers off so apparently like it's an actual thing they made like a re revision in the process of diagnosis and now you have to like ensure the presence of unwanted parts whatever that is to avoid like scams therapist needs to see me just to be able to take a box no examination no nothing like that just needs to like see it and be like okay you can go now but like from yeah I, I wasn't mentally prepared for that like you don't i don't feel like anyone just walks into a room thinking they're gonna walk in and get naked actually maybe that's just me you know i've been single my whole life so i haven't really gotten naked in a lot of rooms beside my own but still like you don't really it's it doesn't make sense you don't you think you're gonna go to therapy and you're gonna have to like talk at most maybe cry but like you know nothing more than that and it kind of feels weird even talking about it but like that's obviously something that brings me so much like insecurity and it's something that i don't like to have in the first place so the idea of like having to kind of have it on display for someone else is just not appealing whatsoever but i get up there and i'm like all right could you guys go outside to my parents who are sitting behind me by the way which is obviously perfect and i'm like okay can they go out and then he's like no like one parent needs to stay here listen this is already like a lot first of all like you're asking me to kind of get naked here second you're asking what my parent to like has to be in the room so it was a whole thing right it was something that i wasn't really prepared for but 
Thank God, like I had to go through it and not any of you. So now you know that's something that might happen in your process. So be prepared for that. Just be ready to lose your dignity, lose your self-respect, lose your everything. It's a very embarrassing process. But anyway, like it felt like it went on forever, but it was literally just like five seconds. I was like, and then he was like, and I was like, okay. And then, <laughs> you know, we just kind of left. So, you know, at that point, you know, I get back in the car and the car ride home is kind of awkward and sad because I feel kind of weird about the whole thing. But I'm also like kind of happy in my mind because, you know, I'm just like, okay, like this one awkward little thing had to happen. And now I literally have access to, you know, every treatment and, uh, you know, every kind of thing that I could ever need and want. So whatever, I'm going to let it slide. And I thought that was the end of it. That was the last weird awkward thing that i would have to sit through in this process but no i was so wrong that we went back uh, to the surgeon to take a you know consultation and discuss like what my options are for the procedures that i need to get for myself and once again my angel parents i love my parents god bless them they're so supportive they're so loving they come to like every big event in my life every competition every doctor's appointment everything so obviously they're like here with me in the doctor's office to you know be supportive and be sweet and be perfect which they are but it's i mean if you can imagine <laughs> you know it's not the best scenario if you can think uh, to be sitting across the table from a doctor who's talking about giving you the most beautiful and perfect vagina while your mom and dad are just sitting across the table you know and i remember the more and more in detail the doctor went my parents faces just dropped and see this we're we're very you know we're very like modern like family like obviously we don't go around talking about all these things all the time but like i don't act like it doesn't exist like i was given the talk at the right age and i was i knew what what is what and all these things we can talk about them very well like my mom has the best relationship advice and best like friendship advice and all those things like i can talk to her about almost anything but it's just one of those again it's one of those things like you don't walk into a room with your parents expecting that your is going to be talked about it's just one of those things that you nothing can really prepare you for these things and i'm like and i'm thinking like okay this is, this is the worst part it's gonna be and then the doctor brings up all the functions and he's like okay you're gonna have the best order you're gonna be fine you're gonna and i'm like please please, please just stop just stop like but obviously he's doing his job all right let me get this out of the 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 therapist the surgeon the every single person that has caused an awkward situation for me it's not their fault. They're doing their job and they're doing and letting me know the things that are necessary for me. I just don't know. It's just the kind of information that, you know, you really have to be like ready to process, especially with like your mom sitting right there. You know, it's a lot. Fuck. I'm sorry for the glare, but like, I was so angry with my eyes, so like, bear with me. Uh, but anyways, like that. Bottom line is, transition is not easy in more ways than you would think. It's not just a physical and emotional thing. It's also really, really, really awkward in every way you can imagine, you know, because like it's a very physical process and it's uh, involving of very, very <laughs> intimate parts um, and intimate processes of your body that, you know, you usually don't want to talk about or you usually don't want to think about. But again, it's one of those things like you have to get uncomfortable to get all the good things that you need. Like if you're not going to put in the effort, if you're not going to put in the work, you're not going to put in the time and you're not going to put your dignity on the line, it's you're not going to get the result that you want. And so for any of my trans brothers and sisters watching, be prepared for it to be um, a journey, a very interesting, awkward, but fun and happy and fulfilling journey. Like there's nothing like waking up every day and looking in the mirror and like seeing more and more of me just looking back and i know it sounds literally like fucking shakespeare like cringe oh much a chemical by the way if you're wondering but anyway like i know it sounds like some stupid pinterest quote but like there's really nothing that beats the feeling of like you know feeling right and feeling whole and feeling like you know what you have going on is really like yours and it's gonna carry you through everything because at the end of the day like you are the only one that's gonna be there for you and not your lover not your friends not even your family at the end of the day you are there for you and anything that you need to do to take care of yourself do it no matter how difficult and uncomfortable it may seem that's it for this video if you have anything oh wow 
uh, that's it for this video if you have anything else that you would want me to talk about or maybe something makeup related that you want to see in my future videos let me know down below in the comments and here are all my socials make sure to follow me i need a lot of clout because i want to get some work done and it's a lot of money so make me rich and famous and i love you bye